let's do a fish room update. Hey YouTube, Brian here again just coming at you today with an update. Uh, I'm going to kind of do an all tank update on my tanks for August of 2015. Haven't really done anything since July as far as updating everything. So thought I would go ahead and uh, take you through all the tanks and um, show you what's changed, what's going on, what's new, all that kind of good stuff. I guess we'll start up here with uh, this Umbi pair. I've got a uh, F1 right here, which is uh, from the Magnus line, just a stunner. And then a wild caught female back there. And as you can see, there's a bunch of fry. They had their first spawn here uh, back on the 14th or 15th, something like that. So these are fairly new fry. They've been uh, very good parents so far. I haven't pulled any, and I haven't really noticed any uh, decrease, knock on wood. Uh, in the amount of fry, so that's good, um, especially for a first time. Um, but I'm really liking this pair. Um, just really excited for these guys to grow up even bigger. Um, but uh, this guy is just really sweet, really liking him. Um, just a beautiful specimen, and, and she's not too shabby either. So, um, so that's that tank. Uh, we'll go down below here. I've moved the three lion's eye that I've kept into this tank. This used to be the Hoga tank, as you know. notice. Um, my last pair of Hoga Boomerum I have sold off and they are no longer with me. So um, I had six lion's eye, I kept the three largest ones and um, they are here. Um, this one has a problem, <laughs> got into a little uh, um, of a scuffle and lost part of its tail. I had some other fish in here. I had some uh, Midas and some um, Texas dithers, and uh, something happened with um, with them. It wasn't another lion's eye, but um, at any rate, and this one got a little scuffed up on its side too, of the other side. But these guys are doing good. Um, looking forward to seeing what happens. If I can get a pair out of these three, and then uh, move the third one on. But really digging them, looking forward to them growing bigger. And uh, yeah, pretty cool. I'll move upstairs here to the Feste pair. Really happy with these guys. They actually did have their first spawn as well here a couple weeks ago. It was real small, but as you can see, there are some fry swimming around here. It's kind of hard to see with the rocks, but. You know, they probably had 20 to 30 only, and I could tell it was going to be small just by the amount of eggs laid, but still, I was really happy that this quickly they spawned. I mean, I haven't had these guys, I don't know, I got them sometime this summer, so it hasn't been too long. This female is just a stunner in her breeding dress. And when he gets all, um, when his color is really nice too, he's, he's really sweet, so real happy. Um, like I said, small clutch of spawn or a fry, but um, they've been good parents so far. I haven't yanked any of these either. Just don't really have anywhere to put fry right now. So uh, we'll just see what happens for now. Uh, down below, F1 Real Mag Umbi pair, uh, Thorson and Maggie. Thorson is just uh, as much of a beast as ever. Really sweet looking fish. Just love this guy. Um, she's looking great too. They had a spawn, uh, let's see, well they're in this tank up here, uh, eight, seven. So, um, there's some fish in here, some fry, got some, uh, gel food that I made, Southern Delight, and I pulled about half of them and then the other half didn't last more than a week or so. Typical with this pair, not sure why, but... It is what it is. So, that's what's going on with them. Um, up here, in the 75 gallon, is some Feste growouts that I'm actually going to move on. So if anyone's looking to get some Feste growouts that are really sweet looking, let me know. I've seen what these look like when they get bigger. 
over at my buddy James Randall's house and they are quite nice specimens so um, he's got them in a bigger tank from the same spawn so his have grown faster and, and they're something to be um, something to look at they're really nice so and, and then this is a, ma uh, a female from um, when I got these two I got two females and a male from Mike Melander and uh, this is the one I don't need a um, little bit of fin nippage uh, I would think that should grow back, but he's available too. I'm looking to move these on fast, so if anybody's interested in getting some Feste, get hooked up with me soon. Um, they're, you know, Some of them have a little bit of fin nippage just because they've been fighting and stuff like that, but they're great looking fish, and uh, they're going to turn out to be something spectacular, I think. So That's what's going on there. Uh, down here we just have four fry tanks. Um, this is a few... Um, be, uh from I'll show you him in a minute but I've got a, a Loki, Loki male left and then I had a wild caught female that I've moved on they spawned before I moved her on and I've just got a few fry from them um, the rest of them I really wasn't able to pull in time um, some crawls here mostly Mayans but there's some uh, RTM and maybe a couple of umbies mixed in here um, Spectabilis crawls uh, tank's a little cloudy. I uh, I watched the sponge in tap water for the first time on the water change, and now this is going on. So I'm going to do another water change here and see if I can't get on top of that. And then, like I showed you before, some uh, Thorson and Maggie fry there. This planted tank is about to come down. I've sold most of the plants out of it. I'm going to pull it down, and it's going to be a grow out tank for some cichlids. Um, just don't have the time anymore to maintain all these planted tanks. It's it's a lot of work. So tearing this one down and one other one, which I'll show you in a little while. Over here, we have got the reddest latest still. This guy's just all full of attitude. He's just awesome. One of my favorite fish, just because purely of his attitude. Um, he's just really fun. The female, they haven't spawned at all for a few months now. Um, I've had one successful spawn where they made it to uh, free swimmers, and but they didn't survive long. Um, looking to get another female for this guy, so if you got one, let me know. Um, I'll skip the shrimp tanks for now, but this is the Loki male. Umbi that I was telling you about before. This is a F1 Rio Mag. Beautiful guy. Hard to really tell under this light, but um, I'm look. I, I hate to do it, but I'm looking to move this guy on. I just don't have room for another Umbi pair. Really wanted to to mate or to keep this with a female and have a third pair, but it's just not going to happen. So, if you're looking for a sweet Umbi, get in touch with me. And then uh, shrimp tanks, crystal red, um, the uh, lower grade crystal reds, breeding like crazy. I sold off a bunch of them and then I halted it because I didn't want to sell too many and, and kind of deplete the colony. But in a couple of months I'll probably have these guys available again. Uh, the higher grade crystal blacks are doing great. Um, as you can see, Let's see if I can zoom in. They have um, bread for me now. There's a couple of uh, shrimplets down there, so that's cool. Happy about that. Uh, high grade crystal reds, they're doing good. Um, I had a couple of buried ones. I haven't seen any shrimplets yet, so we'll just kind of keep our eyes on that. Um, red rillies, they're doing good. Been breeding a little bit. Ooh, there's a crystal red that made it into that tank somehow. I'm going to have to net him out. Uh, moving on, I just... These two tanks now are my newest shrimp tanks. Um, I've got a... I grabbed... I don't know, I think 10 to 15 uh, Royal Blue Tigers. First time I've had Tigers, so uh, looking forward to that. Um, here's another little one. One that's a little bit bigger up here. I'll try to zoom in. Looking forward, uh, hopefully, for, for uh, to get a good colony going with these guys. The color is awesome on them. 
Um, they're, I just got them last week, so, uh, or the week before maybe, I can't remember, there's a couple more back there. Um, so, uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what these guys look like as they grow out and, uh, and breed. Uh, down here is the carbon rillies. Doing okay. Haven't really noticed a lot of breeding going on, but, um, there's several of them in here. A little bit, uh, a few different kind of, I guess, quality, that, uh, types of quality, as you, as they'd say, I guess. Uh, some better than others. Some are more kind of stuff you'd probably call out, but for now I'm not doing any of that. So, that's about it for down, oh no, we'll go over here, uh, the lights are out on this tank, these tanks already, let me turn them on quick. Start over here, I guess, um, F1 Spectabilis, looking like they were going to spawn a few weeks ago, and then it always just kind of goes downhill once she's really close, I think he just pushes her along so far. They spawned once for me a few months back, the fry didn't make it, but, um, they did spawn and produce a, a fair amount of fry, so. Down here, the uh, Wild Caught Spectabilis pair. These are the ones that um, I bought off of Jeff Raps a while back over the winter. This was his breeding pair um, that he used. These were his breeders for the specs that he sold. They've spawned for me once, and those were the ones over there that I showed you uh, that were growing out. This guy's just so old and stuff um you know they're just kind of doing whatever great fish i don't know might move them on we'll just see what happens they spawned for me once so that's cool um here are the two midas i've got left as you can see the female turned out to be this creamsicle and she they did spawn over the weekend uh, not a very big spawn as you can see too a lot of the eggs are fungused up so i don't know what's going to come out of this but I'm happy that I have a male and a female, at least. I didn't know for sure what I had left. Um, I had three, as you probably remember from my last video. There's the male. But um, he killed the other male, or the other one. I think it was another male. Overnight one night. It didn't take long at all. He just had his way with him and it was gone. So I'm left with this pair, which is fine. They're a pair. I'm glad about that. So we'll see what happens. Down below here are the Trimax. This guy is just looking killer. Um, they've spawned for me. They spawned right at the end of this tube. It was a real small clutch of eggs. Um, I don't know if the eggs ever hatched into wigglers. I haven't seen any unless she's hiding them somewhere. But it was just good news to see that they did uh, spawn. She's kind of hiding right now between back there, so I don't know if you'll see her, but she's really nice looking too. But uh, they're getting along great. A little skittish sometimes when I'm trying to film and stuff, but... I'd really like to see if she would come out. You can kind of see her there. Typically they're both out and they're hanging around by the tube where they spawned that piece of PVC tubing so probably because they're in a bottom tank and I'm walking around here and this one's scaring them right now but anyway we'll head upstairs I'll show you what's going on up here give you a quick look at the reef tank the lights just came on so you're not gonna see much most of the corals are not out or opened up yet some of them are a cool little starfish. I'll do, I, I'm kind of keeping the reef tank video separate, so I'll do a pretty good overview of what's been going on with the reef tank coming up here relatively soon. So, um, over here are my RTMs. Got four of them, head five, one of them got killed. Uh, this big one here really likes to stay in the pot. Yeah, they're, they're just really skittish um, in this tank. I'm not sure why. Um, I've had them now for three or four weeks, and they've just been that way from the get-go. 
but there's um, this this is the biggest one there's two about the size of this guy and then there's one real small one you're probably not seeing much because of the glare from my out uh, my back window there but and then I still got the loaches in here I may move these guys to a different tank don't know that uh, they're the fish that I want up in the living room here but we'll see and then heading into the office first thing you'll notice is a big difference here I have torn out the plants in the 150 it's no longer going to be a planted tank and there's a few scraps left and I dropped a piece of Anubias in there the other day but um, I'm keeping the discus but what I'm going to do is turn this tank into a um, uh, just a non-planted discus tank basically and I'm probably gonna end up moving it out into the living room where that RTM tank was and then bringing that tank in here but I'm just gonna go with uh, sand and a nice piece of driftwood with some nice branching branches whatever and potentially a 3d background and then it's just gonna be the discus and um, the cardinal tetras. I'm going to try to get, get a bunch more cardinals so I just have a massive school in there but that's going to be kind of what the tank is. Maybe a few plants like um, you know a couple of Amazon swords or something but that'll basically be it. It's going to be a simpler tank. Uh, down below I've still got the red cherry shrimp tank. I just don't have a light right now on it. Um, the 90 gallon, I just fed him a few minutes ago, so sorry about the food floating around in there. Um, it's doing okay. Uh, the plants haven't been looking the greatest. I'm trying. I'm keeping this as my only planted tank, so I'm really going to work hard at getting these this tank to bounce back and and looking as as nice as I can. Um, that's the. This is the one that I've decided I'm going to keep as far as uh, putting time and effort into. So. I moved all the cardinals out of here into the 150 and then brought up the harlequin rasboras that I had down in that 75 I showed you was uh, um, getting torn down. Same discus, um, same plant types of plants, um, that's about it. Uh, yellow neo shrimp tank down here, also without a light, but shrimp are still doing good. Uh, the reason some of these are out without lights is because I'm selling off a lot of my Phoenix fixtures just because I don't need them because the tank a lot of the tanks I've had them on are no longer going to be planted so I might as well move them on to somebody who can use them for a planted tank um, and then I'll take a lot of that money and use it towards some of the like the like work uh, redoing this tank and stuff like that so I've sold a lot of them but if you're interested in any Phoenix uh, planted plus or let's see Ray 2's I've got on this tank here I've got still two 36 inch Ray 2's awesome lights those are up for grabs and then I've got uh, two 48 inch planted plus and I think that's it uh, and a uh, a 24 inch Fudre so if you're looking for any Phoenix lights and if those would work for you get in touch with me and I can sell them to you for a heck of a deal and then the final tank is just the uh, uh, Blue Pearl shrimp tank. They're doing good. A lot of algae on the glass right now. Ooh, just noticing that we got a bunch of babies right here on the glass. I don't know if the video is picking that up, but that's good news. Always good news. So that's what I can tell you today, guys. Um, nothing else to report. Stay tuned for some more videos. Uh, make sure you go over to the aquatic support systems uh, community page on Facebook. Check out the aquatic support systems uh, business page and give that a like. Um, check out all the members of Team Aquatic Support and their YouTube channels. Their links will be below. And also I just want to say one other thing quick regarding aquatic support systems. Um, one of the two owners, Conway Stevens, has had some medical problems lately. Um, I'm going to try to put a link to a GoFundMe um, campaign that's going on to help him out below here. Um, but if you haven't already seen it, if you're not involved in some of the Facebook fish groups, it's been all over those. Um, please 
if you got a few extra bucks, just go donate and help Conway out. He's had some pretty extensive medical problems and some pretty extensive hospital stays, so the guy helps everybody in the community, doesn't expect anything back, um, and now, um, you know, there's a campaign going to try to help him out and, and give back to him, so I'll try to link that below, um, but if not, go check it out. It's, it's in several Facebook groups, including Aquatic Support Community, um, and you can get in touch with me to uh, put you in the direction of it or Mike Mann or any of the other team aquatic support members so all right guys at that I will leave you until next time thanks for watching thanks to all the subscribers and uh, we'll see you later